FTC ruling, today's headlines, uh, the FTC chairman, new Google privacy plan forces consumers to make a brutal choice, quote. Um, the angle here from uh, the Silicon Angle team, including Mark Hopkins, the FTC isn't explaining what that means, but presumably they're implying that Google is saying love us or leave us, meaning force them to make a change on the, um, the privacy. Obviously, we have a story on SiliconAngle.com that it's totally overblown. Um, we think that Google's got great loyalty with their users, and but privacy is a big issue, right? So we are here at the big data conference, and this plays into the angle of data, right? So the data angle is big. Data needs to be open. And I was saying earlier that the mainframe kept computing locked in, and PCs freed it up and created a massive revolution. Data has been locked into these data warehouses, now the movement is all about opening the data up and creating massive innovation. So, you know, the question is privacy. Um, Google has it. They're in the data business. They're in the big data business. They have all the data on us. They know what we're surfing. They know what we're searching. Yeah, and I think it's also, it's also an issue about identity. And I think that's really the crux of it. What is, what is your identity online? And how is that defined? And how can Google really get a glimpse of that. How can Microsoft see that? How does Apple see that? And that, that's an issue that I think is overlooked when we, when we talk about privacy. Because if, for instance, inside any company, there might be 30, 40, 50 services used, right? And people are using them on their smartphones, they're using them on their tablets, they're using them at their desk. And they're using all these, and they're using multiple IDs to get into these, to these systems. You know, and so there really needs to be a better way to, to, to like establish your identity. One of the most interesting things I heard over the past few years is this movement to like provide every individual with almost like their own website or their own app. And that's their identity app. And that's where they kind of control all their permissions. They can say, this is my permissions, what I'm going to establish for Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, any service out there. And so then, then the, the systems have to connect back with your, own, with your own identity as how you define it, not as how they define it. 